Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelie if you're new here. And I figured that it was time to do an in-depth morning routine because it's been a while. It's currently 5 a.m. I just woke up. Went to bed really early last night, so I'm honestly not that tired. So this amount of energy for me is a little surprising. But very first thing that I do is I take my daily symbiotic. I have it right next to my bed, so it's ready to go. I use the brand Seed, and basically this is a prebiotic and a probiotic in one. And I just find that it really helps with my digestion. So I take two capsules every morning. So I'm going to do that really quick. And then we're going to get up, make my bed, do our skincare, brush teeth, and get this day started. In the morning, as far as skincare goes, I try to keep it really simple. The first thing that I put on is this Dermatologica by Lumen C Serum. And this just helps with moisturizing and keeping my skin extra glowy. And then I take my Gua Sha. I just got this one off of Amazon. And I do this about five times on each side. After that, my final step for my morning routine is to spray my face with this Tower 28 SOS Serum. And then that's it. I've really found that having a simple but consistent skincare routine is way more effective than this like really long drawn out one that I find hard to do in the morning. So that's just what's been working for me and I kind of just play around with like what products I use in the morning and the evening, but I find that a vitamin C serum or by Lumen C serum works really well for me in the morning and then some kind of moisturizer facial spray this one is supposed to help with redness so I do that and then the gua shawing I've heard mixed things about if that actually works I feel like it wakes me up and I mean I don't know maybe it's a placebo effect but I just feel like it depuffs my face so now we're gonna go back into my room and put on the gym outfit that I chose the night before workout outfit is on these shorts are from Gymshark and then this top is probably my favorite gym top that I own and it's from crop shop boutique and I love it because it is backless. I love Gymshark shorts. I also love shorts by Define, but these are definitely like a top three. Deodorant, of course, and a little perfume because no one wants to smell bad in the gym. I'm gonna briefly interrupt this morning routine vlog because I just can't wait. I'm too excited to show you guys my FabFitFun box and do a little unboxing with you guys because I just couldn't wait to put it in a different video. This all just got delivered to me today, so I'm so excited to show you guys. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Are you kidding? Look at how freaking cute this is. This is what it looks like. Let's open her. This is their spring 2024 box. Oh my god, yay, I'm so excited. What's really cool about FabFitFun is it's completely customizable. So they'll send you a form and you get to pick out of all of their options what you want. And I'm just so excited because I picked out some really fun things. So first we have shampoo and conditioner from Nuco. This is literally perfect because I'm really trying to take care of my hair now that I'm diving a lot less. So I'm so excited for that. Next up we have, ooh, more hair stuff. We have this triple bond complex hair strengthener from Living Proof. I'm so excited. I'm literally gonna use this tonight. Next up, this is perfect because I literally have a track meet today. This is muscle pain relief recovery gel from African Botanics. Next, from Dr. Jart, I've heard amazing things about this brand. We have a skin barrier moisturizing cream. This is right up my alley because you guys know how important skincare, hair care, and just like body care is to me. I'm like so excited about those products. Oh my gosh, this, they sent me a Beyond Yoga little duffel bag. Look at how perfect that is. Wait, this is so so cute it's like a little backpack and it cinches oh my gosh i'm so excited to use this for like the gym or traveling wow this is literally perfect i've been needing like a kind of smaller backpack so i'm so excited about this lastly i got this little bracelet from adena eden 
Look at how cute that is. That's everything in this box. I'm so excited to use my new products in my backpack. Literally everything is so perfect for me, which is again why I love FabFitFun because they literally customize your box to you. You get to pick out what you want and then they just send it to you and it's like a subscription and it's basically like Christmas. If you guys like what you saw and you want one for yourself, there's actually two ways that you can sign up for FabFitFun. You can sign up seasonally, which means you get billed every three months, or you can sign up annually, which means that you pay it all at once and then they just send it to you for the whole year and this actually gives you a little bit of a discount. Right now, FabFitFun is offering two different promotions. So the first one is 20% off your first box when you sign up as a seasonal member. And then the second one, if you choose to become an annual member, gets you a $200 plus surprise gift in your first box. So depending which deal you wanna choose, they actually gave me two separate codes. So for the seasonal one that will get you 20% off, you can use code Amelie. And then for the annual one that will get you a $200 plus gift, you can use code Amelie gift. I'm also gonna put the separate links that you guys can use in the caption down below. But you guys, like I literally feel like it's Christmas and I just opened a gift. This is such a fun way to like spice up your life and try new products that you maybe haven't tried before. So this one that I just opened is the spring box and it is valued up to $350, which is literally insane and such a good deal. So as a reminder, you can get 20% off when you use my code Amelie or you can get a $200 plus gift when you use my code Amelie gift and you can get up to $350 worth of products for as little as $47.99. So if that's not a deal, I don't know what is. And also it's just so fun to open. It's such a fun surprise. When you subscribe, you get a customizable box delivered to you four times a year with full size beauty, fashion, fitness, wellness, and home products that you get to choose. A subscription also gives you access to their member only flash sales and you're able to shop top brands for up to 70% off such as Free People and Fenty Beauty. All members have the option to swap their box for shopping credit. All right, I just wanted to show you guys that little unboxing because I have been so excited and waiting for this box for so long. So now that you guys know about this amazing deal that's going on and all of the fun little gifts that you can get from FabFitFun. Let's get back to my morning routine. Thank you FabFitFun so much for sponsoring this video. I loved all the products and I cannot wait to use them. We're back in the bathroom. I'm gonna do my hair really quick. I just do a really quick slick back. So first I brush my hair. And then just to slick everything down, I go in with this Function of Beauty styling mousse. And then if I want it to look really good, I'll take my bore brush again and just rebrush it with the styling mousse already in. Okay, it's not my best work, but we gotta get going. I threw a quick little braid in. Now I'm just grabbing my gym bag. Mine is from the brand Calpac, and I love it. It's so cute, it fits in lockers perfectly. I just feel like it's the perfect size. It has so many pockets, its own shoe compartment on the side. I love it. So if you're looking for a gym brand rec, definitely check out Calpac. All I put in here is a change of shoes because I lift in Converse and run in running shoes, obviously, or like just do my cardio in them. So I put in a change of running shoes and then on days where I have to get ready at the gym, I would put in like a change of clothes and makeup. But luckily today, my school starts a little bit later, so I get to come home and get ready here. So we don't have to really play Plan that far ahead but I get a lot of questions about what's my gym bag and honestly it's literally just my clothes makeup and change of shoes and then of course like I have some perfume chapstick a hairbrush and deodorant but that's about it I keep it pretty light ignore how bald I look but this is still an aspect of my morning routine that I'm working on being more consistent on and that is morning journaling this was actually gifted to me from a friend so I'm not sure where it's from but honestly any journal will work but I do a morning journal and then an evening journal and it has what you're committed to for the day what you are embodying essences of and then this journal comes with a stream of consciousness which is like a daily question but honestly these two are what I focus on the most and then in the evening I do some gratitude what I was grateful for specifically for this day what it revealed to me and then what I want my future self to do so I'm gonna do this really quick and then we're gonna be all good to go to the gym We're downstairs now and I'm filling up my water bottle, but I've been putting in peak electrolytes, which is supposed to help support youthful skin and deep hydration. So I've been putting these into my water every single day. 
And then along with electrolytes, I've just really been trying to take care of my gut health and just physical health as much as possible because working out and moving my body feels great, but that's not the only aspect of health and fitness. So I've been trying to take greens every single day. I use the brand AG1. What I like about these greens is that they don't have like an artificial taste. AG1 just kind of tastes like greens and honestly just doesn't really have that much of a taste at all. So I put it in with a little water, give it a like first shake. Then I add more water, shake it again. And then I just chug this because it's starting my morning with some water, some greens, really just supporting my health. But before I drink it, I'm also gonna add in AG1's vitamin D3 and K2 drops. It's just another dietary supplement. And you know, health is wealth, so cheers. Okay, we're in the car. It is actually freezing. I grabbed myself a Celsius, of course, because it wouldn't be one of my vlogs without one. This is the tangerine flavor. This is probably my least favorite because it just tastes like orange juice. But every Celsius is delicious, though, so cheers. Anyways, okay. I'm about to drive to the gym, but before we get started... Oh my god, you guys, my summer Fridays is literally rock solid. And it's not even that cold. Anyways, what I wanted to say is that this is pretty much my morning routine every single morning, except usually I wake up at 4.30 because my school starts earlier on most days. And I just do the same exact routine, but just a little bit faster. Today I was able to take more time and go slowly and like more in depth over each step because like I said, my school starts a whole hour later today. Usually it starts at 7.30, today it starts at 8.30. But this is like my same morning routine, except it's just faster and I'm not vlogging it. So I do this every single day. It just makes me feel good. And then by the time I get to the gym, I'm a awake I've already drinking water I've had my greens I'm energized with my Celsius my skincare it just feels great so that's my morning routine and something that I've just started doing over the past two days that I feel like has really improved my morning routine is putting my phone on sleep mode I'm using it for light right now but when I turn it on see how there's no notifications I love it I see a lot of other people say like don't go on social media for the first 30 minutes of your day whatever don't scroll on TikTok but for me my social media actually really motivates me so while I'm brushing my teeth usually I'll just like scroll on TikTok really quick because it pumps me up and gets me excited to move my body because the people that I choose to follow just promote that inspiring productive and healthy lifestyle so I don't limit myself to social media but I do find that when I'm getting like snaps and texts and notifications on my phone it really just stresses me out and it kind of just gets my brain into this work mode, whether it's like school or like actual work. And that just stresses me out like super early in the morning. So I don't let anyone text me, even friends, family, all of my notifications are silenced. So this time in the morning is truly just for me. And this is something that I've started doing recently and I'm actually really enjoying it. And it's just making me feel so much more present and grounded in my morning routine because I am truly not thinking about anything else. So if you like social media, maybe try that because I do think that your morning routine should be just your morning routine but I also don't think that you need to limit yourself from scrolling on social media because in that aspect it can be really motivating and it can wake you up and help you get excited to do your morning routine so I just wanted to mention that because it's something relatively new that I've been doing and I'm really loving it now it is time to drive to the gym this is truly where the wake up happens we have our Celsius and we're gonna get hyped to some music and just really get this day started I wish that I could give you guys my Spotify and and tell you that I have great playlists but honestly my music taste is really really random so I'll just look up on Spotify like hype playlist or something or like pre-workout something like that and then I'll just pick a playlist that I like today is gonna be an upper body day and I'm also gonna do some cardio before because I'm going to Mexico very soon and I'm just trying to feel my best and I know that I feel better when I'm just a little bit leaner and it's only a week in advance, so I'm not expecting like crazy results, but I just feel better when I'm doing a little extra cardio. So we're gonna do some cardio in the morning and then I might sauna depending how much time I have left. So that's what this morning is looking like and let's go to the gym.
Okay, I just got home. I had a really good workout. Didn't really sweat that much, but I ran two miles on the treadmill and then I just did like a kind of total upper body day. I was planning to do a little HIIT workout and then I'm gonna be honest, I procrastinated a lot and scrolled on my phone between every set. I didn't really have time, but that's okay. I actually have a track meet today, which is something like totally new and out of my comfort zone. It's my first one ever. Probably good that I didn't have that intense of a workout, but it felt really good. Um, the pump was great and we started the day with movement and at the end of the day, that's what matters. It's not about perfection. It is about consistency and we stayed consistent. So I'm home at 7 30 It's crazy to think that usually my school would be starting right now Like coming out of the gym and it was like light outside was insane The reason that my school is starting later today is because it's the end of a grading period So I don't have my zero period today. So I just have my first period which starts at 8 30 So I have extra time. I'm gonna go inside make some breakfast I'll probably just do like a quick little body shower and get ready for the day breakfast is a weird one for me like sometimes I'm craving sweet Sometimes I'm craving savory. Sometimes I'm not that hungry. It kind of depends, but I'm definitely hungry today So we're gonna make breakfast. I just have to figure out what it's gonna be and I don't know I just feel like it's gonna be a great day I had the sweetest interaction with someone at the gym today He saw me like sticking my phone on the mirror with like this like octo buddy thing Which I always get self-conscious about because look at how freaking like goofy that looks like he worked there And he was like, oh my god, like how did you do that? And I was like, oh, it's like on Amazon blah, blah, blah. And he was like that is amazing. You made my day like thank Thank you so much like he high-fived me it was so sweet and it just put me in a great mood and then I was listening to some throwbacks on the way back overall I'm just feeling great so we're gonna go inside make some breakfast but there's just no better way to start your day than with movement like workout is out of the way now my whole day is free I feel awake I'm not going to school like tired with like eye boogers in my eyes like I'm awake I have had my day pretty much before other people even start their day and that is why I will forever be a morning person but anyways I'm rambling and I don't want to be late today so let's go get some breakfast <laughs> I just made my breakfast. It's falling apart a little bit, but I made like a little breakfast burrito in a protein tortilla that I just found at the store. And then I put in egg whites and some breakfast sausage. It's really good. I'm gonna eat this and then I'll pick up the camera when we're getting ready for school. We're running just a little bit behind schedule, but that's okay because I feel like I've mastered my makeup routine and I can do it really fast. I'm gonna post an updated makeup routine pretty soon, so I'm not gonna go over it right now. But I did wanna talk to you guys about just like becoming a morning person and how I got to where I am now because I used to not always be a morning person, but now I like genuinely enjoy it and it's really easy for me to wake up. So when people say it does get easier, it really does. And it's because you have to fall in love with the process and how it makes you feel. Like I notice that on the days that I don't wake up early, like maybe it's a rest day or I had a really late night so I don't go to the gym in the morning. And by the way, I'm talking like before school. On the weekends, I usually sleep in. But I notice that on these days, I'm just in so much of a worse mood because I hate it when other people are able to impact how my day starts. I hate going to school and first thing I see is like a test or something. That just like makes me in such a bad mood or maybe someone's rude to me or like I get assigned a bunch of homework. Whatever it may be, I just find when I start my day rushed or like with school first thing, I'm just always in such a less happy mood and then I also lose so much motivation with just honestly everything later in the day and because moving my body and working out is such a priority to me, I know that I'm going to enjoy it and it's going to be easier for me to go and just get it out of the way in the morning rather than having to force myself to go to the gym later in the day. Because even though I've gotten to a place where I love movement and it makes me feel good and I really enjoy working out, I'd still have to force myself to go later in the day just because I lose like literally every ounce of motivation and school just makes me so tired recently like I get home from school and I go straight to sleep and I take a nap but honestly the key to waking up early is first of all making it easy for yourself the night before like how I pick out my gym outfit the night before so it's just ready to go that way I don't have to think about it in the morning that is such a game changer and also don't go 0 to 100 if you're someone who's used to waking up at like 8 30 in the morning don't try to wake up four hours earlier at 4 30 in the morning you might be able to do it the first day but that is going to be so hard for you to maintain because your body just isn't used to it 
And I'm not saying it's not possible. You definitely could go zero to 100 if you're someone who's super disciplined, but most people are not. And I just wanted to remind you guys that this is almost my fourth year on my fitness journey. That is four years of waking up early, four years of disciplining myself and training myself to love movement. So don't compare yourself to me and don't compare yourself to anyone you see online because we probably have way more years ahead of you and that is completely okay because if you stick with it eventually you are gonna have so many years on someone else which is honestly why it is so important never to compare yourself to anyone because you don't know their story you don't know how long they've been working at it so you should only compare yourself to yourself and working on becoming 1% better every single day. So if you're trying to train yourself to become a morning person, maybe just start waking up like 30 minutes earlier every single day, even if that doesn't give you enough time to go to the gym. Just get in the habit of waking up that early. And then once you're able to stay consistent with that, wake up another 30 minutes earlier. And then eventually you're gonna get to your desired time and it's gonna be way more easier and enjoyable for you. I find that switching your perspective honestly makes such a big difference. Like, rather thinking, I have to wake up at 6 a.m., 5 a.m., whatever it may be, you get to wake up at 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. You get to take control of your life and wake up before everyone else and take care of your body. No one is forcing you. No one is telling you to do it. If you are someone who wants to wake up earlier, it is because you know that it is going to improve your life and you want to show up for yourself. So you can't do it out of hate. You can't feel like you're dragging yourself because you're not being forced to. No one is forcing you to do anything. This is a choice that you are trying to make to better yourself and better your life. And it's going to be hard at first. It's probably going to suck at first, but you just have to trust that you are going to feel so amazing and that it is going to get easier. And like, look at me now. It is 8 a.m. I'm all ready for school. My workout is completely out of the way. So after school, I can do whatever I want and I feel great. So even though there's gonna be days where you wake up at the butt crack of dawn and you're like, what am I doing with my life? Why am I awake so early? What is going on? You just honestly have to trust that it is gonna make you feel so good later and that it's always gonna be worth it because it always is. Also, you guys, look, I got these new earrings. I'm really excited about them. They're from Every Jewels. That's where I get literally all of my jewelry. And they're so freaking cute. I wear these when I work out, when I sweat, when I shower, when I swim. I mean, honestly, sometimes these, like, will tarnish just a little bit. But, like, it's barely noticeable. And, like, they're so cute. They're so affordable. And I actually have a code that you guys can use if you want 20% off. It's Amelie Desai, all caps. And that's where I get all of my jewelry, including my rings, my necklaces. So cute. Okay, we're just going, like, super casual for school today. I'm wearing this off-the-shoulder top that I cut. These Aritzia leggings, which, honestly, you guys... The Aritzia leggings in the Butter Collection do not sleep on them because I like them more than Lululemon, which is saying something. And they're like relatively the same price, if not cheaper. So definitely go check out Aritzia's leggings. I'm just going to wear some Uggs with this outfit. And then that is my morning routine. I'm going to go to school and stop vlogging and just focus on driving, even though there's so much school traffic right now. It's so bad. I'm not used to this amount of traffic. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for coming through my morning with me. I love sharing just my life with you guys. Like, I literally just feel like I have a friend with me wherever I go. Like and subscribe because it helps me more than you know. And then we can go through 2024 together. Also, make sure that you are following my social media platforms. I have Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, TikTok, LTK pretty much any platform you can think of I have it and they're all on Lady Sai so make sure to go follow those so we can stay connected and with that I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one have an amazing day